Hey everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, we are doing a trash to treasure video. I have three projects to share with you that I think you're just gonna love. So the first project we're going to do is a find that I grabbed from a garage sale. It was a lantern, it was really beat up and in really bad shape, and they wanted $2 for it, which I thought was a really good deal. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing with this lantern is removing the cord. Right now, it has a light fixture in it, but it's just not gonna be a functional lantern. I'm gonna keep the light, but it's more something I'm just gonna sit out as a decor piece, so I'm not gonna wire it and it's not going to be lit up. If you wanted to do that, you could certainly do that. You could also add a candle, but for me, I just want a decor piece. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out the glass canister so that I can wash that and it won't get paint on it. And I'm also going to remove the light bulb. From there, I cut off the cord that was attached to it so it wasn't part of the lantern anymore. So to clean the lantern, I'm using Super Clean. I was sent this cleaner and it is some heavy duty cleaner. I got a big bottle of it that once you get it, you want to dilute it down so it's not as powerful. And then I took this cleaner and I just used it to really just get off the dirt and grime on my lantern. If you're interested in anything Super Clean has, I'll put a link in the description box. From there, I used some masking tape to tape around the little part that attaches to the light because I didn't want that to get painted when I spray painted it. this lantern would look really cute navy blue in my house. You guys know I have a lot of navies and greens in here so I decided to make this navy. I picked up some Rust-Oleum navy blue paint at Walmart. To spray this piece I just did two really good coats of blue paint on it. Next, I just removed the masking tape after it was completely dry. And then I put the light back on and then I also put the clean glass back onto this lantern. And I have to tell you, this lantern has a whole new life. The next project that I'm going to do is this really cool decorative box that I picked this up probably in the fall, you guys. It has been around a while and it is time to have it as a trash to treasure. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this box is I'm just going to remove the handle that's on the front because I don't wanna get any paint on it. So to paint this piece, I'm going to be using a blue color by Waverly that I just picked up. It's called Waverly Pool. And what you wanna do is just sponge paint that color onto this piece. I ended up doing two coats of paint on here. Next, to jazz this piece up just a little bit, I decided I was going to put a stencil on the front. So this stencil, this home sweet home stencil, you can grab at Dollar Tree for $1. So what I did was I just taped it onto the front and then I came in with some black acrylic paint and just dabbed the paint into the stencil to fill in the letters. Next, I removed the stencil and let that dry, and I only did one coat of the black paint on the stencil. I thought that this needed a little bit of distressing, but I didn't like that red maroon color that was underneath, so to distress it, I knew I needed to add additional paint on. So to make it easy on myself, I just took that paintbrush that I was using with the black paint on it, and I just lightly drug it around the edges of my piece to give me a little bit of distressing. Thank you. 
And here's a look at the final box when it was all done. So this next project, I actually picked up this container last week at the thrift store. And I found this little container for 50 cents on half price day at my thrift store and I knew that I had to take it home and I could just do something really cute with it. So I wanted it to be white so I came in with two coats of white paint. And I even put the paint down on the legs of this piece as well. Next, I wanted this piece to have a little bit of distressing, so I came in with wet distressing, which is basically just a wet rag that you use to pull off the paint. And I just did a little bit of wet distressing around the edges of the piece, just to pull back a little bit of that dark wood color. To finish this piece off, I got three bundles of florals from Dollar Tree. I just took them off the stem and just put them into the containers. And I think this is going to look adorable sitting out on my kitchen table. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments below which one of these three projects was your favorite. I have to say, mm, I'm probably gonna go with the lantern, but you let me know your favorite. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I post three to four DIYs each week. And if you missed my last Trash to Treasure video, I'm gonna link it right here. So just click right here and you can watch that video next. And I'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.